Hello, Boyle. After you're done here, meet me in my office. I have something I need to ask you. It's food related. I will bring my A game. Oh my God, Gina. Captain Holt just asked me into his office for a food related question. Yes, I heard, and that's how I know I don't care. I've wanted to build a rapport with him since he got here, but until now, all we've had in common was our bank. Guess who? NYPD, hands up! Ah! This is great. I had no idea Captain Holt was interested in food. I have zero interest in food. If it were feasible, my diet would consist entirely of flavorless beige smoothies containing all the nutrients required by the human animal. So our bank got some new ATMs, huh? I wouldn't know. I've switched banks. Oh, no. Anyway, tomorrow's my anniversary with Kevin. I'd like to cook him an impressive breakfast. Could you help orient me with that process? I'd be honored. Preparing food for one's lover is the most intimate gift of all. Aside from washing their hair. Morning, everyone. Morning, sir. Hey, look. We're food stain buds. Who are you wearing? Porridge? Um, oatmeal. Hmm. Hello, partner. Two coffees. Black for me, milk for you. You remembered how I like it. Yes, with milk. Just one ingredient. And you remembered it. Hmm. Anyway, no sign of Wilcox. Maybe we should talk about deeds of the case, plan our next move, grab a little chow. No need. I brought these. Nutrition bricks. I have um, original no flavor and whole wheat no flavor. Nutrition bricks sound great. Or we could grab a little street meat. Kind of a classic stakeout food, but whatever. Huh, meat from the street. Sounds like a fun treat. <laughs> I'm a poet and didn't even know I was rhyming those words, but it happened anyway. It's a great idea, partner. Let's grab some street meat. Okay. Now, the first step in learning how to cook is learning how to taste. So close your eyes and open your mouth. This isn't Burning Man, Boyle. Tell me what I'm eating. Fine, it's a sharp Vermont Cabot. Now describe what you taste. Cheese. And? Cheese. OK, that's good. But try being more descriptive. I know you love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Why? Their components have a long shelf life, they're cost effective, and they're so simple a child could make them. OK, I, I was looking for more of an emotional connection. For example, my favorite meal is a simple roast chicken and potatoes. It was the only dish my mother knew how to cook, and when I eat it, I feel as though I am once again inside her womb. What's your story behind a PB&J? I want a sandwich. I make a sandwich. I eat the sandwich. Do you want anything else for lunch, sir? Oh, no, I've already consumed the required calories for this day period. Yummy. I'm one caller away. I can't believe we figured it out. And I can't believe it took you this long. Yogurt is literally your one thing. OK, OK. Well, I'm just saying, if the sound were eating damp rice, I would have gotten it immediately. You know, many people think that scrambled eggs are the easiest food to make, but that is incredibly foolish. They are a highly nuanced and complicated dish. OK, now, go ahead and pour your eggs right into the pan, nice and slow. Oh. OK, now what do I do? Oh, boy. OK, well, you hear that sizzle? That means the heat is a little too high on those eggs. Well, the, the higher the heat, the faster the eggs cook, the sooner Kevin eats. Am I incorrect? No, you make an excellent point, but we don't want to feed Kevin burned garbage. Cooking is about patience. Are you completely insane? You never salt can a pan. The hand, the hand is the middleman. OK? What you did is the culinary equivalent of unprotected sex. <sighs> you know what? You, sir, are not ready to scramble eggs. Hand over your spatula. Fine. I only wish in return I could get back all the time I just wasted on this futile project. I'm just going to make Kevin plain toast for breakfast. Oh, that is low. What did the officials say when you got married? Not much. 
when gay marriage was legalized, we weren't sure if or when it was going to be struck down. So speed was of the essence. And do you, Kevin? Yes. And do you? Yes, yes, we do. We're married. I remarked afterwards that I wish the O-ficient had been more efficient. <laughs> it was very funny. Kevin still talks about it. Ah, maybe I should open with that zinger. It is amazingly funny. Mm -hmm. I'm just not sure this is the right crowd for it. No zinger. No haiku. Then I have nothing. Maybe I should wing it. Love. It sustains you. It's like oatmeal. Okay. Okay. Not bad for winging it. I lied. Took me two hours to write that. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Guys, Captain Holt has no pants on. Um, what? He has no pants on is what? Here are the facts. At 11.55 a.m., Captain Holt walked past us holding a hot bowl of soup. At 12.03 p.m., I heard him yell. Ouch! Then, at 12.07, he called Gina into his office. She entered, holding nothing. One minute later, she left holding an opaque bag. Captain Holt's pants were in that bag. His knees are in the breeze. He's in his undies. That evidence is circumstantial. Oh, so you guys want visual confirmation? Not no. really. Done. Hey, Captain, I just need you to sign something at my desk real quick. Just leave it on the couch. Dismissed. OK. Sir, you're going to freak. Yo-Yo Ma is in the precinct, and he's giving out autographs. Yo-Yo Ma is on tour in Australia right now. How would you know that? I'm choking on a lozenge. I'm going to die. I got the drink. No, no, no. I swallowed it. I swallowed it. It's fine. Hey, hey. I made you another bowl of soup since you spilled yours earlier, but you're going to have to come over here to get it. All right, Barack, I'm sick of you wasting time. So, yes, I spilled some minestrone on my pants, and I'm sitting in my underwear. Happy? Yes! Ugh. Sir, I need you to sign off on... Look at us! Just three people with pants on having a normal conversation. Yep. No story here. I'm worried our night shift morale problem has gotten worse. Yeah, you think? I'm sorry. I'm exhausted. My wife says when I get tired, I get night sassy. Night sassy. Hearing problems much? Sorry. Should I just go tell everyone to buck up and do their jobs? No, the squad's only on night shift because they came down to Florida to save Jake and me. It's my responsibility to fix this. I'm going to brighten the mood by telling a few jokes. Try this one on for size. I don't care for cheese. I'm a curd mudgeon. Well, you're too tired for humor. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to answer an age-old question. Right. What's Amy's deal? Is she single? No, we're dating. Come on. The question is, who here does the best impression of Captain Raymond Holt? You will be judged on voice, body language, and overall lack of flair. Everyone will perform the same scenario. Captain Holt eating a marshmallow for the very first time. Let the Holt off begin! What is this glutinous monstrosity before me? The sugar in this is quite sweet. Ooh! <laughs> That's your Holt impression? I could hear him doing that. Looks like a sticky pillow. I don't care for it. Classical music. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? What are you doing? Captain, hey, nothing. Just eating some marshmallows. Care for one? Marshmallow. <laughs> I knew it! Good morning, Boyle. Oh, good morning, Captain Holt. After our disagreement yesterday, I went online to read your culinary blogs and scoff. To my dismay, I actually learned something about how food tells a story. So I made Kevin this. It's warm. It's a croque monsieur. Kevin and I shared one on a rainy afternoon in Paris on our first anniversary. It's one of our most treasured memories. I'm sure it's not up to your standards, but Kevin seemed to enjoy it. So thank you for your guidance. It's gross, huh? No. It's perfect. He's a natural chef. Now I know how Salieri felt. <laughs>